How's everyone doing today? I am doing well. Um, so today I want to use my birdhouse template again, but I'm going to do a lantern out of it. What I want to do is I'm going to create a lantern using the house, right? So what I want to do is take my ruler and I'm going to go on the front and the sides, the back and the side, and I'm going to create a little box. A little window right because a lantern has a window so first thing I want to do is like there's an imaginary line right there right in my head there is so I'm gonna go down just half an inch there and so what I want to do is I want to take this ruler because it's got marks on it so that I can make sure that I am straight I want it to be straight right okay that looks good and then I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way across like that all right and so now what I want to do is do the same thing the reason I'm not using this is because it's not in inches it's in centimeters and I want to do it in inches that's what I'm used to all right and so on this one again oops wrong way I'm gonna go to the side here and I'm gonna go half an inch out and again I want to use my ruler that I can tell I'm I've got a straight edge going on and go down and again I'm just gonna flip it upside down go half an inch right and then with this one again I'm gonna go all the way across it just saves time right and again, I want to make sure that I am level. Let me do it. Let me do it this way. Because I want that line to be straight. And that's a little under that dot. And then I'm going to go this side and go half an inch out. And again, just take my ruler. It's got a grid on it so that I know that I'm even. And just go down that way. All right. 
looks good, looks good. All right, and now what I want to do on this side is just go on the sides here. And I'm making sure I'm even, even Stevens. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I'm going to cut this out. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to start with the edges. And you only want to go from line to line. Like don't go all the way down because that would defeat our purpose of what we're trying to do. We're trying to give it a half an inch border around. Okay, so keep that in mind. So I don't want to go all the way down because if I did that, oh, it would be no good. We would not be creating what we want to create. Okay, so again, I'm going to just line it up and I'm just going from line to line, side to side. I don't want to cut all the way, go all the way across because if I do, I'm going to get myself in trouble. And I don't want that. I'm going to go up. Again, I'm stopping up here at this line. All right. Is that even cutting now? I don't think so. get a different blade. There we go. All right, and now I want to do the top. From side to side. And hopefully this will punch out. Well, if my knife, I need to go. Okay, after I get this cut out, I'm gonna go change my blade. Because it is dull. All right. Well, come on, let go. It's like, no, I don't wanna go. I like it, it's my home. Sorry, little guy, you gotta go. You gotta go, you gotta get out. Get out. Get out. Okay. Save this. Do not throw that away. We're gonna need it in a minute. Okay, let me change this. Okay. Blade is changed. Alright, so now I wanna do the same thing over on the other side. pop out and it does. All right, so we're going to keep these two over to the side. So now we have the makings of our lantern. Hello. <laughs> okay. So now what we want to do is we are going going to Y'all, let me cut this out again. I don't like the way that looks. So I'll be right back. I'm not going to put y'all through that torture because it was my mistake. But Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you it does make a difference because the way I had been doing it, I did it that way. And when you score, that's not going to work. So you do want it to look the way it does on the template. All right, so I'm going to trace it and I'm going to cut it out. Okay, got it done. All right, so now what I want to do... <clears throat> 
we're going to just place this guy over this guy. Now I remember how I did it. Sorry. All right. So they should line up. Take our pencil. And we're just going to trace like this. We're going to use those for something else. Maybe. Okay. So there. Now we don't have to do all that measuring again. We've just saved ourselves some time. So now all I want to do is cut these out. lantern birdhouse almost done all right so what I think I want to do now is I'm going to use a vellum to go on the outside of these windows right because I think that would look, I mean you could leave them open if you want. It's oh, totally, totally up to you, but I think I'm going to use vellum. Two, two to fit these and two to fit these. All right, so I will be back. Okay, so I've got them all cut out. This side is three inches by three and three fourths. This one is three and a half by three and three fourths inches. So, now that I've got these cut out. What I want to do is I'm going to use my stencil. I'm going to make this a um, fall lantern since, you know, hey, it's, y'all, listen, Christmas is still a month away. <laughs> Let's not forget our turkey day. And I know some people don't celebrate turkey day, but we still have fall. We still have November, right? So let's do some autumn stuff. And then we'll go into Christmas, like probably later on this week. But for right now, I want to do a, a uh, fall themed one, if I can find my stencil. There it is. I found it. I'm going to use my stencil that I got the other day. <clears throat> and I'm going to use um, my inks. I'm going to use Memento uh, Ladybug, Memento Cantaloupe. And I'm probably going to use, I think I used potting soil. I might have used coffee. Because I did do a, a dry run on this, but I did it a little differently. And I didn't quite like the way it came out. So, I think I'm going to like this way better. Aha. And then I have my stays on orange zest. If I had a preference, I would rather use stays on or archival ink because these are permanent inks um which so is memento i think once it dries but i've had problems with memento though once you put something water on it it will smudge so but these don't do that but this is all i have i don't have all the colors in my stays on or archival like i do in memento so that's why I've opted to use Memento. I tried my Distressed inks, which they work fine too. Again, however, you know, they take a while to dry, especially on this vellum. So I just want to use something that will dry, you know, fairly quickly. So all I'm going to do is just get one of these out at a time. And I'm just going to use my stamp. And I'm just going to stamp it. Uh, well, I did red there, so let's do red again. And actually, I do need to get another foam thing, I do believe, for the red there, because I don't think I used that. So hold on and let me get a foam. Hold on. Let me see if I can get away with just using a makeup cosmetic sponge on it. I have several of these, so... 
always forget I have them. So I'm just going to, and I kind of want them, you know, sideways. Oh, that works fine. That way. Don't use up my expensive little foam things. They're kind of expensive, aren't they? But this is not. I got a whole bunch of these for a buck. A dollar. See, look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? I love it. And you know what I'm going to do to it. Those that know me know what I'm going to do with it. Of course, I'm going to put glitter on it. But for right now, let's just set it over to the side and let it dry. And we will move on to, um, let's see, let's move to this one and we'll do, I think I want orange over on this one. I do have a foam thing for that, so I will use that. If I got a foam, use a foam. All right. I love stays on, man. It is so vibrant, isn't it? I love it. But I get these on clearance. When I see them on clearance at Joann's, I grab them. Okay, so there is our orange. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Set that aside and let that dry. Uh-oh. I got sloppy there. Mm. Bad Gina, bad Gina. Bad Gina. Well, thankfully this is going to be my own personal one, so no harm, no foul. All right, let's see what color have I not used. I've not used the cantaloupe, so let's use the cantaloupe. I love cantaloupe. Anybody else? Mm. I can remember we used to have it for our breakfast on Sundays. My mom would always make like bacon and eggs and pancakes and long, 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 long goody goodies. And we would always have cantaloupe too. And that was one of my first cooking jobs that I was ever given was to cut up the cantaloupe. I remember that. And also one of my first cooking jobs was to cut up um, the vegetables for uh, Thanksgiving. I always remember that memory. Always. We were watching Willy Wonka, and I still do to this day. Every Thanksgiving, we watch Willy Wonka. Right after the Macy Day Parade. It's just our tradition. Alright, so there's the yellow. It's not going to be as vibrant, but it's still just as pretty. See, just as pretty. Alright, set that to the side. And now, last but not least, I'm going to use brown. Why not? Um, do I want it dark or do I want it light? I think I want it... Oh, I think I'm going to do coffee. So... And I think I want... I think I want this leaf again. If it's not dark enough, I can always go back with the other. I think it will be dark enough. Let's take a gander, shall we? Oh, yeah. I think it's dark enough. I don't think I want it much darker than that. All right, so we're done with that. We're done with our inks. So I'm going to blast these with um, some heat gun. Well, not the heat gun. I have two things. I have a hair dryer and I have a heat gun, a heat tool. And um, I use the hair dryer to dry like my paints and stuff like that. And then I use the heat tool, of course, for embossing. And if I need something with a hotter temperature, 
which is basically just embossing for me. Um, because I don't think I want to use the heat tool on this, this vellum. I don't know that it would melt it, but I don't want to take a chance. So let me dry these really good. I want to make sure that they're good and dry, especially the memento ones, because those are the ones that concern me. I think the stays on and the archival are already going to be dry. So let me do that, and I will be right back. Okay, so I got my glitter, and I think what I'm going to do... And I have some stickles, but I don't think I want to use stickles. I mean, I really want to use glitter. Glitter, glitter. So, I'm going to use my heavy gel gloss medium. And kind of just paint on here. Medium. Right in the spots where I want the glitter to adhere to. Alright, and now, um, let's see, I just need a piece of scrap paper. Hold on just a second. Well, this is what I'll do. Now, I'm going to take red. Just dump it on here. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, see? Isn't it adorable? I like that. I'm just going to set that to the side. And I'm going to clean up this mess here. Y'all did not just see me do that. No way, no how. <laughs> ah. Y'all, I just cleaned up that mess. Mm hmm Show sure dang did. All right. <laughs> okay, seriously. I have a problem. <laughs> ah. All right. Let me really, let me clean up this mess. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just keep going. All right, now let's do the orange. I got smart this time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this copper color, I think, glitter to go on here. Oh my gosh, that's going to be pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. See where I put it on thick, it you know, held thick. I like that though. I like it different texture look like that. It's cool. That is cool. Alright. Now, let me attempt to clean this up. I 
let's see, let's just use this glitter and the rest of it. Ugh. Ugh. What a mistake that was. Why didn't y'all tell me? Why didn't y'all say, Gina, that's gonna look stupid. Don't do it. Don't do it, girl. Look at there. Look at that. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> Can y'all see? It like sticks out. Okay. Well, that was just an idea. I don't know. Is that bad? Does it look bad? I think it looks too bad. It's just different. All right. Let me clean this up. All right. And then our last one is going to be our brown guy. And I think I'm going to use iridescence on him. Just the white looking ones. I was going to use the star ones. Well, might as well. Might as well make two look like crap. Why not? Let's just... Let's see, they don't look too bad. Now, um, let's see. Oof. Where is my clear one? Hold on, I must go find it. Wait a minute. Okay, I found it. Oh, that's cool. Kind of shiny. Here, let's put some more. I'm gonna need to clean this. I'm gonna put more gold on here. Maybe that might help it. Okay, I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Alright, I think that's it. I think that's all we need to do with these. Okay, so I've got them done. I think they're gonna go something like this, right? All right, so I'm gonna let these dry so that the glitter can, you know, get good and dry. And then I'll be back and then we'll continue. Okay, I think these are pretty much dried. So now I just want to Put them on the house. Mm, yeah, let's do it this way. All right. And I think I'm going to use my ATG. Because I'm going to end up matting this anyway, so I think it will be alright just to use the ATG. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to take my Ranger Potting Soil and I'm going to ink all these edges up. All right. There we go. Now I want to go ahead and put these together.
little poo on you. Okay. Ugh. Work with me, not against me. Work with me, not against me. All right. this on there'll be no way to get inside to put the candle okay here's the issue that I had I totally forgot that I was going to make this where you could put a candle one of the LED candle not a real one but an LED candle inside right um, to turn it on so that you could so that you know it would look like a lantern so I think what I'm gonna have to do is and I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I was gonna make it a door but that's not gonna work so maybe if I just cut out you know, a piece of the bottom so that you could put the candle up in there. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to have to try to see if I can't undo what I just did. Just one side I think is all I need to do. We want to do this before we put it together. That was my mistake. So sorry. All right. And I don't even know if this is going to work. I might have to go ahead and take all of the bottom off to lay it flat. All right. You should be able to put a candle in there. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hold on, I'm going to glue this part down for the chipboard. and redo these. I'm just going to put redo the tape and the hinges and get it back together. Okay, so there we go. We've got it. And then you could put the candle there. You could either put the big LED or, you know, a couple of tea light LED candles. Christmas light, the LED battery. 
Okay, I don't know why this thing is wanting to be crooked, but it is. But once we put the roof on it, it should straighten itself out. And once we put the edges. So again, with the roof, we're just going to put a bead of fabric tack or tacky glue down the edge. When you're working with paper, chipboard, you know, it is paper. Alright, so I'm just going to sit and hold it for just a few minutes. Just so that I know it's, you know, getting good and glued on straight since when I put it together for some reason it didn't want to be straight. But that's paper for you. I mean, it, that happens. And it's okay. Okay. Yeah, see? So we good now. It's nice and straight. Alright. So now... What I want to do is I want to mat it, and I've got my paper here, and again, this this is from my paper line that I've created. It's on my Etsy store. If you're interested, you'll get 20 pages of all different kind of fall or autumn themed. So I went with this this time, these colors. So I think I'm doing this for the roof again. I kind of like the way that looked. I'm going to do this for the, probably the front and these for the sides. So, and again, the measurements for the mats are actually on the templates so that you will know exactly what you need. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut those out and then I'll be back with the other step because we do have another step to do because we have to cut out for the windows, right? So, I will be right back. Okay, but before we do that, as always, I am getting ahead of myself. We need to, if you want to, put the edges on the house, which I definitely want to do. So, let me do that. So, I've got them already cut out, and all I need to do is score them. And then I'll be ready to do that and ink them. So, let me score them and ink them, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got them taped and I've got them inked. So now I just want to go and put them on the edges.
All right, now we can go ahead and put, let's go ahead and ink our roof, ink our edges. Now what we need to do is we need to mat the sides, but before we can do that, we need to create the border or the hole, right, for the light to come through for the window. So, I've got my punch here, my frame punch. And I have it set at half an inch, which is what the side, you know, is how much we left room for. So let's just see if this will work. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and ink it and of course if you do, don't have this tool here, the frame punch board, um, you can, which is probably what we're going to have to end up doing with the other side, is um, trace it with the cutout from before and use your X-Acto knife to cut it out, which I have a feeling we're going to have to do on the front and back side of the birdhouse. Let's do the other side. All right. Cute. All right. Now, the problem I think that we're going to have with this one, oh no we won't, yay, so we should be able to use this, even for this one. Okay, what I did, um, which you can do, or you can just use your template and trace it and cut it that way. Um, but I just cut off the tips and then I will attach them.
Okay, I want to put the edge on here, so I just took a piece of the roof paper, cut it an inch um, wide and four inches long, and I scored it at a half an inch. And it can just be glued just like that. And I think I'm going to ink it. Whoops. Let's go ahead and do this. If you feel like you need to ink it, you surely can. But I kind of like it like that. All right, now what I want to do is I have this, it's supposed to be a lantern, correct? So I have this chain that I want to use, right? But I need a way to get it on here. So what I want to do is I'm going to poke a hole like in the center somehow. here and I'm doing it at the top right because and then what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of tacky glue on here just like kind of dip it in it and then I'm going to screw it in the top like so. The glue should help keep it in there as well. I mean, you really shouldn't, um, you know, pick it up with this, really. I mean, it's for decoration. All right, and now I think I'm going to do about four rings. So, easy my pliers. that's sweet. I have this here. I'm just gonna, well, that's gonna snip it off, but it doesn't seem like it wants to snip. Cute. That's adorable. Alright, now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to get some ribbon. Cute. 
Okay, I figured out how to make the bow. Good Lord, that took me forever. Like I used to do this all the time, you know, when you don't use a skill, you forget it. But you do two, you, one, I was, it needs to be pretty long. I was using a wrong length. Finally realized that. Make two bunny ears. This is actually how I learned how to tie my shoes. <laughs> Make two bunny ears and then you're going to just crisscross them. Find the hole, let one bunny come through the hole. This is where it gets difficult. And then you just pull to get them through the hole like that. And that is how you make a bow. Simple, right? I knew I had it, but just could not remember it. Alright, and then I think I'm going to glue it onto this other part here. Yeah, I like it like that. It's pretty, pretty side. Alright, so I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac. It's already gooping out. Might as well use it. Okay, you're, you're no fun today. You're no fun today. Already having a bad day. You just want to make it worse. Okay. Just glue that onto there. Oh, precious. That's precious. Precious, precious. All right. Now. And I even have some raffia that I could use as well, which I just may. Why not? Nothing says fall like raffia. <laughs> you know? Okay, and I've got this garland that I bought um, probably, I think it was last year. I'm pretty sure it was last year. So, I think I'm going to take it. Actually, I think I want this piece right here. And I think I'm going to glue it like this. that dries we should be good to go oh y'all that's gonna be cute okay so cute, it's cute. pretty much dry cute 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 so you have a space for a candle right so that you can see the flickering of the candle for LED candle please don't put a real candle in here y'all <laughs> please let's not do that all right so, but I think it turned out super cute, even though of all the mistakes I made, um, I still think it turned out super, super cute. So, well, I hope the video wasn't too confusing. Um, if it was, I apologize again. My head was not in the game today, but it's just too cute for me not to put this video out because I do want you to see what else you can make with the birdhouse template. Again, it's on my Facebook page group if you want to go there to um, download it for free you're more than welcome you just need to ask to join and I will let you join so uh, the link will be in the description all right y'all well thanks so much for watching I truly appreciate it if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share it and subscribe if you've not already subscribed and if you have subscribed thank you thank you thank you so much I truly appreciate it um, but don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I've post a video. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Y'all be good to one another. Please, please be good to one another, and I will talk to you later. All right, y'all. Bye.